I'm gonna show you how we make 9,000 ads a year at our agency. This is probably one of the biggest questions we're often asked because people know that we make a lot of ads, a lot of really good ads, and they're always asking, what is the system? So I'm gonna show you guys our system. So I'm gonna walk you through at an overview how we do the system, then I'm gonna dive into specific details and show you every single step that our 15 teams inside our agency follows to make the 9,000 ads. So let me show you. So I did this math a little bit ago, and over the course of a year, Year, we make about 9,000 ads. And the secret to how we make so many ads at scale, frankly, is what using a system what we call sprints. So if you don't know what sprints are, if you, maybe you've heard the word scrum, but it comes from the book um, Scrum, surprise, but it was used heavily with software and the tech industry. But there's been a lot of applications and engineering, advertising, design, web design. And that process, it just brings structure into what has to get made, but then doing it by bringing sheer focus into a short amount of time to get it done. So I'm gonna walk you through and overview what that is. So if you don't know what sprints are, this is essentially what every sprint cycle follows. This is what we follow in any other industry, tech, like I said, SaaS, engineering, where there's certain steps in the sprint. So every sprint or scrum, if you know that term, you have what's called a sprint backlog. That is the log of everything that has to get done or wish that you can get done or ideas, right? You essentially just collate all those ideas. Then you go into the planning phase, which is you start looking at, okay, what do we want to get done in this time period? What is realistic? What is not realistic? Then you actually go into implementation or creation for us. We start creating those ads, right? And as we're on that cycle, we will meet every single day and every single morning just to see, hey, how is the creative looking? Are we on target to hit our deadlines? Is there anything you need help troubleshooting or solving? Then when they finish their initial mock-ups, they go into review, which is internal. We review things internally. And then as that is reviewed, we do a retrospective. How do we do this week in completing those creatives? For us, we run a two-week creative sprint. So how did we do in creating those two weeks of creatives? Do we get everything done we need to get done? Was it too much? Was it too little? Was it on brand, off brand? And then after that internal retrospective, then we send it to the brands for approval and that's when we actually launch, right? So this is just the cycle we're always following for every single account that we work on. And it just helps to bring structure and the chaos that is advertising, especially for us for e-commerce. So let's dive in to exactly how does this work and I'll also show you specifically how it works also in a flow chart too. So the first thing is this is our cycle. You can do weekly sprints, you can do monthly sprints, the time frame is really up to you. We have found because we work with brands, you know, we're an agency, that we often have approvals that aren't always quick. So if you've ever worked with people before where you need approvals, it's not always the fastest thing to get right when you need it. So we have found two weeks to be a really good medium at the moment for our sprint cycle. So how it works is we start off a Monday with the retro Kaizen, then we go into sprint planning, then we start our sprint backlogs where we start creating the ideas that we identified on that Tuesday, that progress and work just continues to get done so that by the end of the sprint, we've done our review internally, things are approved, and we send it to the brands for approvals. And if they approve it, we launch it, right? So that's our two week cycle that we're always following when we launch creatives and when we make creatives. So let's dive in into each section. What do we do? How do we do it? And it's also like, how does it actually look? if you were on our team. So this is the system we use to make 9,000 ads. So the first thing we do is back right here, you see this retro Kaizen. So what we're doing is we're reviewing previous tests, right? So the reason we do this is before we actually start prioritizing what we wanna make, we wanna look at, hey, what the heck actually worked before? Let's look at the data we launched in the last two weeks, what worked, what didn't work, because what we'll do is we'll take all those learnings and then we'll come up with themes for it uh, that'll help keep us focused for the next sprint. So we use, uh, this is actually motion, so we use motion and we look at all the creatives that we launched in the previous week cycle. We will review the data, we'll also write down our hypotheses, what worked, what didn't work, just so that we've had the chance to properly think through the creatives. Because if you're not thinking through and you're not actually looking at your creatives and asking what worked, but didn't work, why, you're not really learning, are you? You know, we're also dive into, especially for video, all the video analytics, thumb stop, hold rate, all those metrics that people get really nerdy about because we're doing that so that we can come to the meeting and we can say, 
here is what's working, what's not working. That'll determine what do we iterate on. That'll determine what do we have to just make a whole new fresh idea about. So we do that first, and then we actually go and the team starts putting in their ideas, right? So we use a backlog. You can use a backlog in Google Sheets and Asana and ClickUp. Where you use it isn't as important as long as it's one place that your team always comes back to. That's the most important thing. And everyone on the team who works on that brand is responsible for adding items to the backlog. It just so happens that now it's in our team's habit where throughout the weeks and the days, they do this naturally when they have an idea and that's okay. But you add it to the backlog because you want to show up to that meeting and you and your team have discussion on what do we need to make? Because every team is finite, meaning you don't have unlimited resources, unlimited time to design everything. So you need to come up with all the ideas you guys can and then as a team decide and prioritize which ones you want to make. And so on our backlog, which I'll show you a real example here in a moment, we essentially outline what's the status, what's the name of it, what type, what's the type of creative are we recommending that we make. If you, if you care about different funnel stages, that's fine. What channels, what's the description or hypothesis, or are there specific links that is important to reference when you want to prioritize that, whether that's inspiration, whether that's another ad you saw, whether that's a particular creative that the photographer shot or the videographer shot, you want to link that here too so that when you guys come to that meeting where you prioritize what to make, everything is there for people to make the right decision. Okay, so that's that part. We make the backlog. Then what we do here is once we determine prioritize what we're going to make, then you assign it. So we actually use a ClickUp. That's what we use now. We used to be on Asana, which is fine. So what we do now is we just brief it in ClickUp. And I'll show you a real example here in a few moments where we brief it. We fill out the entire brief, the hypothesis, link the assets, link the description, because that gets handed off to our copywriters and our designers to then make. And I have to tell you, the secret to having a great ad if you have a big internal team is in the briefing have really great briefs and you get really good creatives have crappy briefs and that's when you get the frustration of you ask a designer or copywriter to write something and it didn't hit what you want because you didn't brief them properly and again this is the stages we follow every ad that we make then what we do here is once that is made and we go through that process of making it then what we do is we actually send that to approval for our brands so we send to them to approve. And when we send to them for approval, we actually tell them why we made it. Hey, here's why we made this ad. Here's why we think it's going to work because we want them to also learn and then to be informed. And if you're an agency or you work with people or you're a freelancer, I actually recommend that you do this. The moment we started doing this, we saw revisions fall through the floor. The reason why is because if, unless you tell someone why you made something, they don't have the context of what's inside your brain. So if you send them a creative, then tell them, here is why we made this particular creative. So now that now they have the full context to make that decision of whether they want a revision or, hey, let's just see how it performs. Then after that, based off approval, we launch it, right? That essentially is our sprint cycle in a nutshell. It's not that complicated. It's just bringing structure into the exact steps that have to be followed to make that happen. Now, what I want to do is I want to tell you some of the secrets that we have learned along the way to have a really great sprint cycle. Okay, so I actually mapped this out for you guys. So here it goes back to that cycle. You see the retro Kaizen, the sprint planning, the backlog and the creating of those assets and then the approvals. So here's how the things work is you essentially have right here is we just came from reviewing results. Now it comes time to ideate. We're looking at learnings. We're looking at what do we need to change in our creatives based off what we learned? Where do we go now? What's the next step? That goes into the backlog. The big secret that we have found when we're determining what to make for the next two weeks is to theme it. Come up with a theme. Theming is a really great, great creative tension exercise that gives you the creative tension to help focus yourself from the unlimited amount of possibilities and ideas. So for example, you could have the theme, you know, by the time I'm making this video, where it's a Valentine's Day, the theme could be a Valentine's Day theme creative asset, right? Just helps to theme you and what you want to make. But essentially, you have your backlog of ideas, then your team meets and you guys prioritize, okay, what do we want to make? Of these ideas that we have, which ones do we think are actually going to move the needle the most? Which ones do we need to make for whatever reason? Or what are the ones that we just don't have any confidence in? Cool. Then we prioritize. These are the assets that we want to make. And then in the briefing, determine like how many variations. Then essentially, we go into creation mode, right? So we have 
these different creative assets. We make those assets pretty simple. Once that's approved, we launch it. Okay. After it's launched, by the time we have the next sprint, we come back and we show results. Here's what worked. And then the team now goes right back into, hmm, let's review what can we learn from this? Where do we go from now? And what is the next step exactly? That is how well this works. And like I said, we make 9,000 ads every single year following this process. And what's great is because we do it at scale as well. So here's an example of a backlog. I promise I'd show it to you guys. <clears throat> so here's the backlog right here. What we do is we put the batch number. We like to put a code. You don't have to do this, but a sprint code because we also add this to the naming convention inside the Google Ad account. So when we look at an ad, we know from what sprint cycle it came from. Again, that's just a very specific nerdy thing that we like to do. The test status. Then we put what is the actual name that we're, we're of the ad. What's the hypothesis? Then we go here and what's the prefix? Again, this is just a code that we put inside of the campaign and ad set inside um, meta ads. And then there's a big two things that we distinct or uh, we differentiate is we track are the ads a winning in testing or a winner at scale? Because if you've ever run ads for any amount of time, a winner in testing is extremely different than a winner at scale. They're often very, light, um, very uh, much not always the same thing. And so we track and test between both of those because we have to make sure that we're focusing on ads that scale and not just ads that went in testing, right? Very different. Then we do the a post test analysis after it's run its course. And then essentially we have every ad that we make, we have a link to the demo report, which I show that to you guys. So just to reference again, the demo report looks like this. This is a demo report. So it's essentially just the reviewing the ads, the metrics, as well as writing down our, our ideas of what worked well, what didn't work well. So that is the demo report. So if you want to focus on just iterations, if you want to focus on brand new concepts, if you want to focus on listicle style, on statics, it doesn't matter. It's up to you to determine what you want that thing to be, but it brings a lot of focus for your team. The second thing is just come up with some way to track how many creative assets did I make in the sprint? So that over time, you can see yourself, are you guys getting more efficient? Are you making the same amount of creatives now as you were three months ago? Are you increasing the amount of creatives that you can actually make? And then the third thing I'd recommend is don't skip on taking the time for your team to look at every creative you make and physically write out what worked well, what didn't work well, what can I learn from it, what do I need to change? There's something very powerful about putting either pen to paper or actually typing out those questions for you and your team and then give you guys the space to come up with new ideas. Every time that we see a brand come in or we actually consult with the brand and their marketing team, we often find that they're missing the space in the actual, what we call the, the retro review of just thinking time. Thinking time is important. At the end of the day, if you're making creative, you are using your brain, which is the most valuable asset. So you want to make sure you give yourself the space and the time to think through what worked and what didn't work. So that's it. That is how we make 9,000 ads a year. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.